Today, watch a TED Talk called You Can Be Happy Without Changing Your Life by Casey Holmes. And I was very, very encouraged by that video. And I decided to, uh, to share with you some thoughts. So Casey was a mom who was working in the church and she was overwhelmed and she wanted to quit her job. But before she did that, she wanted to do one last research to find out uh, how people find time to be happy, what changes they are doing. And she found out that there are lots of people who have a lot of time and they don't feel happy because they can, even though they can do anything they want, they don't have the grip or that need to do it. And then there are people who are overwhelmed and they are not happy because they need more time to be happy. But in the middle, there were the people who were so overwhelmed, but still they said they were happy. And she asked why. And the why was, the answer to why was that they appreciate the small moments in their day that make them happy and they even schedule them. And it's very interesting point of view for me because I do feel overwhelmed as well. I'm married, I go to work, I go to college, and I have other things on my shoulders, like worrying about my parents, my sister, other things around the world. It's like super, super overwhelming sometimes. And uh, her examples in uh, her talks uh, really gave me this appreciative um, feeling. So she brought an example of her and her daughter going to coffee breaks, and they do it once a week for 30 minutes. And she said that though anticipating going to the coffee shop of her daughter and then doing that and after that, the memories make her really happy. And then she came up with the idea that uh, the dinner of her husband for 30 minutes and putting another child to sleep for 15 and then uh, talking to her friend for 25 minutes, all of those moments, small moments that were regular brought her happiness, but she didn't notice them. And uh, she said uh, an interesting thing that sometimes we need to actually calculate how much time we have to do something that we're doing every day. And she said that she calculated that by the time her daughter is going to go to college and if she moves to another state, um, based on how many dates she already had with her daughter, she probably has left like about 39 more percent. So she's already halfway to those dates. And she said now she appreciates it more because she knows that this will end. So when we think about what we have right now, today, in our hands, what we're doing, what makes us happy, think how long you've been doing it. And then think how long you have left. And I'm pretty sure that you've done, done it longer than what you have left if you're getting to my age. And that makes, um, more, you, makes you more thankful for what you have. So the idea behind uh, being happy without changing your life is actually to be grateful, to find time to appreciate what you have, to find time to be thankful for the moments you have with your loved ones or whatever you're doing that makes you happy. And this brings me to a point where I actually the other day felt this moment of happiness that I didn't give it as much attention as I give, I'm give. i giving it right now. Um, I, I watched another TED talk on about, about the body language and how to know when people lie to you. And I came up, uh, they came up, uh, they were talking about forensic psychology and that ignited my happiness, like my curiosity. I really wanted to go and know. And of course I read and I watched a lot of videos and, and then I went to Udemy and I actually found out that I can take a uh, class in there. So uh, to know more about forensic psychology and I got so fired up. I was like, oh my God, I really want it. And I told my husband, I was like, you know, if we didn't weren't in the situation we are right now, I would already take the class. So, and he was like, "Yeah, you always are so fired up by new ideas, and you always want to know." And yes, curiosity is something that inspires me. That I love it, and I would do that. And I'm still doing it, just later. <laughs> and uh, one thing um, I I do as well, the way she says in her video, is that I plan my happiness. And by I plan my happiness, I didn't even know I'm doing that, but uh, I'm trying to be mindful about what I need. And by that, I mean, like, I like to read. So I schedule time. I find time. I, I'm actually looking for time to read. And that sometimes makes me feel guilty and makes me feel guilty because I take time from something else and read. 
but that makes me happy. And sometimes we need a little bit of happiness to jolt us to do something new or to do something we don't want to do. And, you know, you need that little push into the right direction. And, but I do feel guilty because I tend to um, read something. For example, if I take um, what the book here, this book, or I'm writing well, I will read through and if the author mentions another book or something, a concept that it's um, uh, interesting to me, I'll put the book up aside and I'll start looking into that concept and I might buy another book to read on the concept. Or, and sometimes I tune, I tune back to this book, like it could be a month or even more. That makes me feel very guilty, but also makes me feel very happy because I, I really enjoy my curious mind and I enjoy being fired up by new information, finding, researching, that makes me happy. And um, the talk um, that uh, I listened today as well is not related to this one, but there was another lady who said, you need to be grateful for what you have because tomorrow you might not have it. And she brought a sad example when her daughter died. And if you think about it, life happens, things, bad things happen. And what you have today, you might not have tomorrow. So be appreciative of what you have. So the main idea of this talk was to actually think of what you have in your life and appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate the anticipation, the moment, the memory. Schedule it. Go ahead and schedule. Schedule that moment to talk to your husband, to your kids. Take them to a coffee shop, read or sleep. Like yesterday, I took a nap. I am sick, so um, yesterday I was feeling so bad that I actually was taking a nap. It's something new. I don't like to take naps, so it's something new for me. But do take care of yourself, your needs, and happiness is your need. You need to take care of it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you took um, something Bible though. And please comment if you have any other methods to see and measure or maybe how you are scheduling your happiness and how you're grateful for what you have.